first off, uh, can you tell us about the founding story of Bravely and the vision behind the brand? Yeah, so Bravely started around the idea of democratizing coaching for everybody. Previously and traditionally, coaching was really targeted towards senior members of companies and senior leaders. So think C-suite, VPs, maybe director level. They were always targeted as the group that was sort of worth investing in. Um, and what Bravely wanted to bring was an opportunity to make work better for everybody. And so it was really founded on this idea of democratizing coaching and bringing that opportunity to every employee at every level. How do you define excellent customer service at Bravely, especially considering that you serve two different personas, the coaches and the employees of your clients? So we take a two-pronged approach to providing the best customer experience possible, which mostly comes down to customization and efficiency. So on customization, different customers have different needs. And so a good customer service experience means tailoring that service to the individual customer. And so at Bravely, that means understanding the different needs of our coaches and that audience who, of course, are pivotal and critical. Lastly, it's efficiency. Um, nobody wants to spend a lot of time on hold or navigating through complicated menus when they're trying to reach this service. So a good customer service experience means providing efficient and easy to use service. All right. So now we'll move on to the selfish questions about outsourcing. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so role of outsourcing and CX. So how does outsourcing fit into your overall CX and operational strategy? So outsourcing is an integral part of our CX and operational strategy. So in this case, being able to provide excellent service to our end users and to our coaches meant that we needed to find a really trusted partner who would understand what our mission was and be able to fit that um, goal for us. So what that turned into was being able to partner with Support Ninja and have you be able to step in and fulfill this role to provide amazing customer service to our global audience. Quick, super friendly, very helpful support in the moment. And that's what we get by partnering with Support Ninja. So this one's kind of near and dear to my heart because it's something I talk to folks about all the time is, you know, what aspects of your customer experience operations have you chosen to outsource and why did you choose those? So we have coaches all around the world. We also have employees all around the world, whereas Bravely HQ is based out of the U.S. So in order to provide excellent service, timely turnaround, let's say that someone is on a session and they're having trouble logging in, but this is somebody that's based in Europe they're not able to contact someone at HQ if this call is happening outside of our working hours. So we had to be able to find a trusted partner who could provide 24 seven support, who we knew would be able to meet the expectations, that level of excellence and white glove service that we provide our clients during our working hours when we weren't online. And so that's what we were able to find with Support Ninja and our team provides excellent service. And we always get rave reviews from everybody who interacts with them, whether it's our HQ team, whether it's our coaches or our employees, it's pretty much five stars across the board. How do you measure the value of your outsourcing program? So, of course, one is cost savings. That's um, incredibly important, especially just given Bravely size. We are still a small, lean company, and cost is, of course, some, a consideration there. So that would certainly be one of them. Customer satisfaction and quality, extremely important. So being able to monitor our customer satisfaction scores and use them as a benchmark for success and maintaining a high score is extremely important for us. Productivity is also important. So we have um, seasons of when sessions increase and when sessions decrease, right? During the summer months, folks take a lot of vacation, so sessions may go down. We still want to have excellent customer service and quick turnaround, even if it's slow season. And then equally, when we're at a high season, Typically, that's the end of the year in Q4. A lot of people turn to coaching to help them through review season. So we see a big uptick in tickets and support needed. So equally in those times, we also need a team that can have a really quick turnaround, provide excellent service, even if it's under pressure with a whole line of tickets waiting for them. And then, as I mentioned, quality, having excellent quality, being able to monitor that, monitor that quality, and then compare that to the service that we provide is what's really important for us. And we have always had excellent quality when partnering with Support Ninja. Well, I'm, I'm partial to Support Ninjas. And I love how you guys have them. <laughs> I, you know, and, and I, I love the integration stuff. That that part is so important to, to me. It's important for being Support Ninjas. Like, I love it when, I always say, like, the best CSAT score we can get from a client is if a client asks me to send a birthday cake to one of the ninjas. Oh, I love that. 
you know, it, it shows that they're integrated, right? It shows yes. that they care, you know, and that they're they're yes. part of the team, you know. Yes, absolutely. All right, Brooks. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. My pleasure. Thank you.